Let's count down the top 10 rides at Gulliver's Land Milton Keynes. Number 10 The Silver Mine. Get your pickaxes at the ready and your flashlights turned on as lighting up our first spot on the list. Silver Mine will take you on an adventure like you have never experienced before because as soon as you have boarded the rickety mine train and then entered deep into the very short abandoned shafts, your twist and turn around some of the wildest theming at the park which to make move, light up or sway from side to side, you will need to shoot with your individual sheriff's gun provided within each vehicle. It's just a shame that your scores do not add up like on your typical laser gun ride. Number 9 The Crazy Mouse If you scurry into one of the most unobvious ride entrances that I think I have ever seen, so make sure to look at the park's map before visiting, you'll find The Crazy Mouse, the park's oldest and by far cheesiest roller coaster, and I think as soon as you're shrunken down smaller than a mouse for your trip around a now giant home consisting of a giant cat, you'll very quickly realise why. Nevertheless, make sure to take in all of the giant objects on your first lap around. As for your second and third, the main lights will turn off and the neon will come on, resulting in a whole new adventure. Number 8 Treetop Swings I do not know about you, although as a child I have always wanted to swing across the trees and until now that has never been possible because if you guess by the name this is not your typical backyard swing then you would be spot on as instead of just rocking back and forth you will begin your sky high adventure by being lifted into the trees followed by both spinning and swinging around for two minutes, really bringing my childhood dreams to life, as well as leaving only one question remaining. Would you take a ride, or rather watch from ground level? Comment down below. Number 7 The Buccaneer From a trip into an interactive mine, to riding a giant mouse, to even soaring high above the trees, we have covered some awesome adventures so far, yet none of them even come close to this classic rocking ship, as depending of course on what seat you anchor, with the back and front of the deck being a lot more thrilling, you'll rock back and forth so high above the seven seas that you will quite literally come out of your seats, causing many of your fellow pirates in your group to let out a little scream that is extremely funny to watch with everyone on board facing inwards towards one another. Number 6 Runaway Train You can't have a theme park without a runaway mine train and Gulliver's Land Milton Keynes is no different as situated deep within the forest lies a runaway mine train perfect for the entire family. For me though, it is not so much the loud, despite it still being really fun, with its two laps full of many out of control twists, turns, drops and airtime heels, but in fact that from the moment you walk past that awesome bear statue, to those close encounters you will get with the trees along your not so calm ride, to even leaving via that on-ride photo booth, you will feel immersed within the wilderness. Number 5 Jungle Falls On your marks, get set, go, go, go! As halfway through our top 10 list, things are beginning to become a lot more competitive. And by competitive, I mean racing your new form frenemies down a jungle slide competitive. Although before you jump right aboard, with this not just belonging to the jungle, but around the entire world, if you have raced in the past, then we suggest taking on the more unique adventures at the start. And if not, then brace yourself for the thrills of bouncing and the fun of splashing all the way down to the finish line 
where you will hopefully be crowned the jungle champion. Number 4 The Log Flume If racing is not for you, but you like the idea of getting wet, then look no further, as in my eyes Gulliver's Land is home to one of the only decent log flumes in the UK, as bar the very, very dirty water, the theming is once again spot on, with its great collection of rockwork trees and even rustic buildings surrounding your expedition. And this awesomeness only continues with the wetness too, as unlike Fort Park's tidal wave, you will not be getting off sight, nor to the point where you'll be lucky enough to get a splash, like on my home part, Legoland Windsor's Viking Splash, making it perfect for the ever-changing climate of the UK. Number 3 Grand Prix Racers Now we rarely have our favourite roller coaster at the number 3 possession, especially when the theme for this is the F1 Grand Prix. But with the park having so many fantastic flat rides, even with this new for 22 edition, making races of all ages feel as if they are a true Grand Prix driver, with it taking you on a high speed, action packed race around lots of fun thrill elements, there are a few classics at Gulliver's Land that cannot be beaten. Saying that though, it has never drove me crazy and it would not surprise me one bit that as soon as you have made it through that finish line, if it becomes your new champion. Number 2 The Crazy Crane Who here has ever wondered how good of a view you can get from the top of a JCB crane? Well it is now time to find out, as on the park's tallest adventure we Honorary construction site workers will be taken to the tippy top of a working crane to see a panoramic view across the whole of Milton Keynes that you are sure to love. Although what you may not fall in love with, pun intended, is the series of drops, bounces and rises while still spinning around the structure that is closely followed on by the view thus resulting in a very tough choice. Is the views worth the thrills? And for me it would be so every workday of the week. Number 1 Dragon Siege We have now made it to our favourite ride at Gulliver's Land and there is no better attraction in my eyes than the awesome Dragon Siege as where many of the other attractions understandably implement a more family approach I think it is quite obvious that a consistently spinning dragon themed disc flipping upside down again and again and again for a two and a half minute duration is definitely for the thrill seekers. But so we do not drag on for too much longer, you have got a dragon to say, trust me when I say hold on tight during especially those upside down hang time as neither incredible nor petrifying can describe that sensation. Thank you all for watching, bye bye.